Hey, what's up guys? This is your boy Stonewall. Uh, I wanted to put together a little tutorial on how to um, um, set up a couple settings in your Windows 7 machine when it comes to XP mode and running Windows Virtual PC. Um, so let's just hop right into that. Um, as you can see, I've got my Windows PC up and going here. Um, I'm running the virtual, the, the Windows Virtual PC, and uh, one of the problems that I wanted to talk about today was um, the bit color depth in the um, actual uh, your Windows PC because when you first load uh, Windows XP mode, you'll notice if you come under the dis display properties, all you have is 16-bit color. Um, I'm going to show you in this tutorial on how to change that and how to uh, make it a uh, 24 bit. Um, it comes very beneficial when you are uh, viewing you know particular web pages or you might be playing games that you want to play on XP or whatnot you know there's a bunch of different things. I know in my job there was some particular applications that needed to have 32 bit color or 24 bit color so we uh, found this resolve for it. Uh, but let me get right into it, man. Uh, I'm going to throw this XP machine into a full screen mode, and uh, we'll jump right into this. Um, if you come down to start, and then you go to uh, the run command, you type MMC, and just hit enter. What you're going to do is you're going to come to file, and then add remove snap in. Just go ahead and click add right here. We're going to add group policy object editor. And then you obviously you want to do it on the local machine. You don't want to do anything on your network or anything like that. So just hit finish right there. And then we're going to hit close and OK. As you can see, it added the local computer policy. We'll go ahead and expand these screens so you can get a good look at it. Under local computer policy and then computer configuration, we're going to come under administrative templates and then Windows components. And right here, you'll see terminal services and what virtual PC does, my Windows Virtual PC does, it uses a protocol called RDP, which stands for a Remote Desktop Protocol. And um, they limit a lot of these color settings and display settings for bandwidth issues. And, you know, so you're not, when you're connecting to other machines or you're connecting to a virtual machine, it, it's not really slowing you down that much and you're not seeing a bunch of lag or, you know, screen lag or whatnot, but this is how you can change your color depth. This is going to help you tremendously when it comes to displaying certain programs or you know viewing certain web pages. So you come here to enable and then you'll come down to 24-bit color. Just hit apply. Okay right here. And uh, you can close out of this. It's going to ask you to save it. Just hit no. And that'll be alright. Um, what we can do at this point you want to go ahead and disable integrated functions. It's going to log you out of your machine. Just log back in. And at this point, you can come down to properties. And you see that you're 32 bit color and 24 bit. But here's the thing it will not keep this 32 bit. You can keep the. Um, the integrated features off, but you're going to lose some functionality within your Windows XP mode. Um, I'm not sure what all those functionalities are and features, but uh, I'm sure it's quite a few um, with linking to your machine. I'm sure you'd probably lose uh, features like maybe even printing and stuff like that. So you want to keep this enabled. So once you enable this feature, it's going to set it back because we've changed it. It's going to set it back into a 24 bit mode. So let's go ahead and enable this and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, like I said, this is a pretty good resolution. You know, you can expand it out into a, a full screen mode and uh, you know, you're getting pretty good Windows resolution, pretty clear uh, fonts and all. So just come to your properties and right here and under settings you'll see that it has changed to 24-bit mode. Um, like I said, this is this is going to help you tremendously if this is something that you were looking to do and you, you just didn't know how to do it. If you have any questions or comments, just leave it below and uh, I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks again. My name's uh, Stonewall. Uh, see you later.